Welp, it is finally the day, y'all. It's finally here. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we are finally doing it. We are going to store all the photo cards that I have from my 17 collection into my binder. I know this video is like really long overdue, and I apologize for that. I know there was the preparing my binder for it, and then there was the two giant halls. There was the Bayi Hall and the Nyokyo Hall. And now we are finally here putting them all away. I'm so sorry for the delay. I was just waiting for like the right moment to do this because I did have to post a lot of videos before, like an unboxings and stuff like that. There's just a bunch of videos that I needed to post. And then also I did end up doing more trading and buying. So there are more photo cards in here than I had before. So yes, we're doing it. Here we are. This video is actually sponsored by Skillshare. Yay, sponsorship come through. If y'all don't know what Skillshare is, it's basically an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people like you and me. A lot of people always ask me about how to start a K-pop YouTube channel, whether it's about editing videos or making thumbnails or whatever. And Skillshare is definitely the perfect start to learn how to do all these things. There are literally so many classes about editing using different video editing programs and how to grow your channel and not even just classes about youtube you can literally find classes about anything on there like learning another language for example you know korean cooking and just basically anything so personally i always have a lot of trouble using procreate which is an app that i use to make my thumbnails and i love how there's literally so many different classes that i can take to help me use procreate better and just to make more pop and thumbnails you know so as you guys can see here i'm taking the ink illustration techniques in procreate class by liz color brown yeah you can take as many classes as your heart desires all for less than ten dollars a month with an annual subscription but the first thousand people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. So yeah, definitely check the link in my description and start your free trial to Skillshare and just start learning, you know? So yeah, thank you so much again for Skillshare for sponsoring and let's get back to the video. So yeah, you can see right here, this is my 17 binder. I did do some off-camera decorating to it. I showed it in one of my live streams, but this is what the binder looks like. It's so cute. I love like all the stickers that I use and stuff. So cute, love it. And then here are all the photo cards that I have here. I got this little like photo card sorting tray. Shout out to Katie, AKA Shoal Zanel. She um, posted this on Twitter, I think, and I saw it and the way I flew to Amazon as soon as I saw her tweet and bought this. So yeah, it makes my life so much easier. So yeah, I'm glad to have this now. I also decided to put all my other 17 stuff in the 17 binders. We're gonna do this all today, right here, right now. I'm so excited. So yeah, let's just get on with it. So yes, if you guys remembered from my organizing video, I obviously like put all the cards that I was missing and stuff, yada yada. So yeah, I know I said I was gonna use these for like space fillers, but I've been watching a lot of K-pop like photo card binder reorganization videos and sorting videos and stuff like that. And I don't know, it just really inspired me to do better for my collection. And to just, you know, I aspire to be a lot of other K-pop YouTubers collections because theirs looks so neat and mine just looks a little like blah so i did end up investing in these sleeves these are the ultra pro sleeves but with the white backing so yeah i bought these to use as space fillers so i thought they would work better than you know these so for example let's just put one in right here see oh wait the logo is showing right there hold up See, this just like fills the space up perfectly. So yes, this is an investment that I did. I'll still use these for like, you know, like these, like if I'm missing a photo card or something, but in terms of like filling up these spaces, I'm gonna start using these Ultra Pro white sleeves. So yay for days. So again, I'm just going off of these templates right here in terms of like order and stuff. So I have these templates by this user on Instagram and Twitter. They make like one of the best templates ever. So. If you're looking for a template, definitely check them out. Yeah, first we have all our Vernon stuff. Holy shit, look at how thick this is. Oh 
my goodness. And I did end up pre-sleeving all my cards because, you know, this video is gonna be three times as long if I sleeved all of them on camera. So I took the time to sleeve all of them beforehand to just to save some time, you know? Yes. Okay, so first we have always be the seek version i still don't have the hide version it's one of two cards that i'm missing for vernon so hopefully i get that soon and then we have the last l and l repackage omg it's almost filled and then i'm just gonna go ahead and replace these real quick all right so we have this page and now i think we have all of these cards yes okay so let's go ahead and put these in so first off, we have Going 17, we have, this one's the Happen version, and then the 17 one, and then finally the last AL1 Polaroid. Yes, we have this page filled up. I'm pretty much gonna finish my entire Vernon collection in this video because I pretty much bought all of his photo cards except for two, so that's gonna be super exciting. Okay, and then I also finished Teenage, so let's just take these out. And then this one is the white version. And then we have this one. Okay, actually, you know how I said I was going to replace all of these? I'm actually going to do it like later at the end when I'm done storing it because it's going to take up a lot of time and I don't want this video to be too long. So let's do that later. Now we have a director's cut sunset version. I actually traded for this card. So yeah, that's finished. And then the slate is the second card that I'm missing from Vernon's collection. It wasn't really a priority of mine, which is why I don't have it. But if someone has it and wants to like sell it or whatever, just hit me up. And then this card, which I was missing for like literally forever, finally got it. So yes, you make my day is complete. This has been complete complete and then what is this one? Oh yes this was the last card that i was missing for an ode bought it off a twitter user let's just slide that in there and then i believe i was missing one more card oh two more actually never mind so this one i actually thought that i wasn't missing this card and i thought that i had it but apparently i didn't so i was lucky with that one And now we're officially complete with an ode. Oh my God, I can't believe I have all 20 of his cards now. <sighs> After years of working on it, finally I completed it. And then we move on to Hengare, which we have this one. I get really confused between these two cards because they look so similar, but they are different. And then we have this one, which goes with this one. Again, he just takes like the most similar looking freaking <laughs> photos. It gets me confused. So yeah, but you know what? It's fine. At least I have both of them. And that completes it for Hengare. And then of course, semicolon. I actually did finish semicolon like for all the members that I collect. So super happy about that. So let's just go ahead and put these in. And there we go, that is his Korean photo cards, which I'm like, again, like 99% finished with. Yes, and then for Japanese cards, oh shit, I don't have the template for the Japanese cards. Hold on one second. <laughs> I haven't made too much progress on his Japanese cards, but I do have quite a few still, so we can still put these away. Oh yeah, <laughs> I do have a lot actually, Never mind. I take that back. And then I also have his M card. So I didn't buy any um, We Make You cards. I think I traded this a long time ago, so that's the only one I have. And then for Happy Ending, I have this one and this one. So this one is the Limited A. And then we have Limited B, which is this one. Okay, and then we did a lot of um damage for fallen flower surprisingly because i haven't even bought any of the albums yet so yeah this just came in a pack though so oh i literally need one more photo card which is this beret one but with a heart so wow that's pretty good for not buying the album at all
Oh, shit, I don't have this one. What am I doing? Again, the photos just look so similar. This one just doesn't have his hands in it. Like, can he do like something like a lot more distinguishable? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Vernon, you do you, boo, because who am I to judge? But yeah, this is one of my favorite cards of his though. Ugh, love the outfit and the selfie. And I actually finished his 24 hour set, which I am so, so happy about. I couldn't believe that I finished this though. Like, honestly, I'm surprised I did. I think I have his HMV card for 24 hours as well. Oh wait, what? Oh wait, wait. Oh, what am I doing? Oh my God, I'm tripping. For a second, I thought I was missing a card and I was like, what? But clearly I can't count properly. <laughs> Okay, that scared me so much. Again, like, this just gets me so confused. God damn it, Vernon. Okay, and then... Oh, the M card? Oh my god, I left it here. Idiot. Okay, so wow. I can't believe I finished a Japanese album of his, though. But yeah, and then we have our special cards. Again, I do have quite a few of them. I actually have a lot of them, but... So these are, like... Ugh. How should I do this? Okay, hmm. So I guess I'll dedicate a new page for his HMV cards. So here's all of that. So these are all the HMV cards. This will go on a separate page. And then I do have fan sign photo cards. These three are fan sign photo cards. So, hmm, how should I do this? I didn't plan to have this many pre-order cards, which is why I wasn't like prepared. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Put all my fan sign photo cards like this. Disclaimer, I didn't win a fan sign or anything. I just bought this from Mercari Japan. So they're just from the fan sign. And then this is a pre-order card from K-Town. And then this is the Weaver's pre-order card, I believe. So that should go here. And then I guess these will be empty for now because this is a concert card so in case in the future I get like more concert cards from Seventeen, I'll just put Vernon's there I guess. But yeah, there we go. And then let's make a new page for these um, HMV cards. Oh wait, actually I have this card right here. This is technically a concert card so I'll just put this one here then. Oh my god, this fits the sleeve literally exactly. That is satisfying. Okay, and then now we have the HMV cards. I'll put these cards behind the Japanese cards, so it's like still ongoing, I guess. And then we should put these in error order, so... We have Fallen Flower, 24 Hour, and this is technically Hengare, which is a Korean album, but I'll just put it here. So yeah, I don't know how many like HMV cards I'm gonna get. These just like came in a pack, so that's why I have them. I don't like actively or like seriously collect HMV cards because there's so many. So yeah, whatever I just get, I'm just gonna keep. So yeah, these are all I have. And then we should put these for now. Okay, and then last but not least, we do have more inclusions. So we just have these like bigger inclusions. And also this is where I keep my bigger inclusions now. This used to be my photo card storing like bag. You guys remember the Glossier bag, but since I've bought the storing tray, I just decided to, you know, use this for bigger inclusions. I'm pretty sure these are all the big inclusions I have for Vernon, hopefully it is. So yeah, there's a lot in here, holy crap. Okay, this video may be a long one because of the amount of stuff I have, so sorry about that. Don't I have this bookmark? Oh yes, I do, okay. Let's put this bookmark here for now. Is this even in like the right order? I don't even know, but we have that complete. And then I guess we can do another four pocket page for semicolon stuff. Oh my God, this is a three pocket page. <laughs> I actually have two of these big cards and 
So I'm just gonna put them in here. You know what, whatever. I'll just keep it for now because I have all the members I need anyway, so I'll just put that in there. <laughs> Ta-da! There we go. And then we also have these thingies. I think we'll do a three pocket for these. Again, the big inclusions are just really random, so if they're not in a particular order and that's like bothering you, I apologize. <laughs> So this will be right here, and then this is from Happy Ending, but oh my god, this doesn't even fit in here! <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Okay, so this is the situation right now. I know this is like the most random like way of organizing it, but the inclusions are just all different sizes, so it's not like gonna fit in a perfect way. So that's just how we're gonna do it. So yeah. Anyways, now we move on to Myoho. And I know you guys are like, don't you, aren't you gonna get like dividers or something? I did end up buying dividers for like, to separate each member and stuff. I just don't have my label maker with me because it's at home right now. So once I grab my label maker, I will put those dividers in so it's neater. But yeah, now we are gonna put away Myoho's cards. I have a fat stack right here, so super excited for these members though i don't really have their older photo cards i just have like some so we're mainly just going to be putting away their newer cards because you know i literally just started collecting them so yeah but i did end up buying um young ho's entire like going 17 set someone was selling them for super cheap so really happy about that so we can put this away and fill up his entire page omg People actually commented in my last um, video, the preparing my binder for 17. That video, like the first video of like this four part series, people were telling me how each member had two unit cards. And for a second I was like, oh shoot, really? But then I looked it up and I did my research and there are 10 total unit cards for um, going 17. So obviously if you do the math, that's not possible. So yeah, only some of the members do have unit cards, but thank you guys for letting me know, I guess, or trying to let me know. But anyways, OMG, Ugh. this is kind of a weird way to put it, I know, but this is like the best way I can think of. So moving on, we do have one of his AL1 Polaroids because someone did trade with me. And then we have zero of his teenage cards because teenage is just impossible to find, okay? And then now... Oh, I don't have director's cut cards either. Okay, so let's do You Make My Day. I do have three of his cards. I'm literally just missing this version, the ribbon version. So hopefully I'll get it sooner or later. As you can tell, there's no more of these like space fillers because I ran out at that point. So hopefully I don't run out of these because these are kind of expensive. So yeah. <laughs> okay, and then I completed his You Made My Dawn set. Probably one of my favorite sets of his, honestly. His hair is amazing and all these outfits too, like hello. Also the variety of like background colors, like we love that. So we got the green one, and then we got a white background, which is this one. Literally one of his superiors look, like, superior looks is what I meant to say. I'm a mess. This is also a superior look, like, hello. Okay, flex with the jewelry. And then these are both the eternal sunshine versions yay omg oh, it's so satisfying just completing like a full page or like a full set just seeing all the cards together oh my god brings me absolute joy so yeah now we do have an ode i didn't completely finish an ode i think i'm just missing one beret photo card which is pretty good honestly so yeah also the cards are like kind of out of order because I'm a mess like that, so let's try to not do that. <laughs> so let's put these away. 
I will never forgive Pletus for doing 20 photo cards for an ode. Honestly, if they didn't do 20 photo cards, I would have probably completed 17's um, collection a lot faster because, you know, it's like 20 less photo cards to deal with. I don't understand like why. Like why did they have to make like four versions per album? And there's five albums, like seriously, not cool. And they have so many members too, so that just makes it even harder. Okay, and then we have, where is it? This one. And then, yeah, so I'm just missing one of the beret photo cards, but hopefully I get it soon. The beret photo cards are usually one of the hardest cards to get from an ode, so I'm just happy to even have one. I feel like this is everyone's favorite set though, like the one where he's like outside. Oh my god, so superior. We love a fashion king. The thing is though, th I'm so glad I'm filming this video right now though because these cars have just been sitting in my room for literally like weeks because I've been waiting for like the right moment to film this video and again I've been like focusing on other videos as well there's a lot of comebacks recently and I also wanted to post my um Bai Yi and Neo Kyo hauls before I did this video so at the time of me filming this video, I haven't posted the Neo Kill haul yet, but I did finish editing, uploading, and I finished the thumbnail this morning, so the video is going to go up tomorrow because my Eyes One albums are apparently are coming next week, so hopefully that unboxing will be next week. But yes. Okay, so that's it for an ode. Hell yeah. And then I finished the rest of this stuff, so we have both Hengare and Semicolon. Booyah, look at me, like, ugh. oh shoot, we're starting down here. Okay. Why are the cards here? Why did I put those there? A lot of you guys have also left suggestions on like how I can better organize like my photo cards. And a lot of people left suggestions, but the reason why I'm doing it like this and it's kind of weird is because I like seeing all the member photo cards like together. Like someone suggested, I think it was Miss Ema, she told me to do like all Vernon and then like one member, one member, one member. And that's a pretty good idea. The thing is though, again, I like to see all the photo cards like together, like all the member photo cards together instead of like mixing the members together which is why i decided to do it like this it just makes it more satisfying for me i guess just seeing like the member like sets together so that's why i decided to do it like this oh fuck i totally just put this in the wrong place <laughs> what am i doing holy crap okay um here we go this one these cards are so cute too oh my gosh he literally just takes the best selfies, I swear. Now this goes here. And then now we have this one. Again, my favorite style of photo card. Who knows, maybe I might collect OT13 for this because I just love it so much. I don't want to put words in my mouth, so I'll just keep my mouth shut for now. <laughs> And then we have semicolon to finish it off. OMG. Okay, so this goes here. And then this goes here. OMG. Look at the stack of like these though. Oh my God. Luckily I used post-its for these so I could just like take it off and reuse them. But holy crap, I only did two members and this is how thick the stack is. And then we just have these extra cards. Let me put a new thingy. So again, for now, I'm not gonna focus on collecting Japanese cards for the three other members because I wanna focus on their Korean photo cards first, obviously. I can't be doing both at the same time. That is just too much. So these are the only different cards I have. I had to get this card though, it's so cute. So it came with like a Bai set and then this is just the pre-order card from K-Town. And then I do actually have, oh, never mind, I don't have all of them, but I have, three of them and so I just need one left. I don't know the particular order for the versions. This is completely wrong probably but I'm too lazy to pull up the template so <laughs> we're just gonna put it in however I feel like it okay just 
just deal with this. There we go. And then we just have, oh shoot, I need the oval card. What am I doing? Okay, never mind. We do have more inclusions because I do have his bigger ones. So bookmarks and then the lenticular and then this oval card. So how should I do this? Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna need four pocket pages. If only the lenticular card fit in here though, like it would literally be perfect, but I need to put this by itself. Okay, so how did I do it last time? So I think I just put this here. And then this here. If only this circle card was smaller so I could put it with these circle cards, but it's slightly bigger. And then here, this is just an empty gap, oops. Oh shoot, I, I just realized I put these out of error order. God damn it. Okay. Again, I don't know the particular version order, so I'm just gonna put these in here however I feel like it, okay? I'm too lazy to check. Okay, and then last but not least, we have this, which I have to put sideways. I mean, I guess I can put it like this. Now, nah, just keep it sideways. Okay, so now we are officially done with Myungo. We have two more, whatchamacallit, two more members left. So now we move on to Mingyu, who I have zero cards for. So yeah, here are all of the cards that I have for his. Starting off with these photo cards. OMG. Thank God I also pre sleeve these beforehand because honestly, it saves so much more time. <laughs> I don't have these ones, but I do have some Going 17 cards. I don't have his unit one with Wanu yet, so hopefully, I can find that one. The unit cards are usually easier to find than the solo cards. The pack that I actually found this like Going 17 set in, if you guys didn't watch my Pai haul, it actually came with two of these selfie cards. If only it came with the missing um going 17 unit i needed but it's fine i just use the extra card as decoration <laughs> okay and then we move right along to you make my day because i don't have any of his other cards here we go again 17's older cards are a lot harder to find because i don't know like they're still in print i'm pretty sure but it's still just harder to find so yeah hopefully i'll be able to find it on like mercari japan for like a pretty good price though oh my god y'all let me tell y'all something i actually am getting sponsored again by baiyi <laughs> just giving you guys a little spoiler but yeah baiyi just surprisingly reached out to me again like i literally just did my baiyi haul with them like not too long ago it hasn't even been a full month and then the pr manager i think um, reached out to me, the person I usually work with for Baiyi, he reached out to me once again and he was like, hey, like, do you want to do another sponsored video? And I was like, say less, like, say less. Of course. Literally, Baiyi are like the nicest people ever. Like, the person I like email all the time for like my Baiyi, like sponsorships and stuff, he is so nice and so understanding. So shout out to you. Not going to say his name, but shout out to you if he's even watching this video. <laughs> Probably not, but yeah, like Bai has just been so kind to me. So shout out to them for like helping me with my collection and helping me give content to you guys. Like definitely check them out. I also have a new link from them. Before it was like 2000 yen off of Mercari only, but they gave me a new link where it's 2000 yen off any like store. So not just Mercari Japan, even though most people use it for Mercari Japan. But yeah, it's only for your first order though, so you have to be a new user, but still 20 bucks off, like we love that. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know when the video is gonna be out for that. It's probably gonna be like a month from now or something, but cause it usually takes time to like settle everything out and then for the stuff to arrive and stuff. So it's not gonna be out for a while, but just know that that's coming again. <laughs> it's probably gonna be 17 stuff because I really wanna complete my 17 collection. So yeah, anyways, we have an ode now. Whew, again, can't believe I bought this entire set like all at once, but you know what? What's done is done. So I'm just glad to complete this set like super quickly. <laughs> again, it's 20 cards. So just glad to have gotten this out of the way. Oh my God, these are all out of order. Also in the Baiyi uh, giveaway, I mean, not giveaway, I'm sorry. Oops, I just spoiled it, <laughs> but in the Baiyi haul, because it's going to be another haul video, 
Um, there's actually gonna be a giveaway in the video. They actually asked me if I wanted to do a giveaway as well, and I was like, oh my gosh, yes. So I get to choose the prize on what to give away. Trust me, y'all, it's gonna be a good one. So definitely check out the video once it's out sometime in 2021. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be a huge giveaway and so yeah look out for that i'm so excited so again thank you Bayi, for just being super kind and for giving something to my subscribers too i appreciate that oh my god this photo card set is probably one of my favorites from mingyu it's this one the one where he's holding a rose like and his hair too like are you kidding me so stinking cute that's the one thing I'm okay with for the NO cards. Even though there's a lot, at least they're all cute. So I forgive you, Pledis. The beret ones, of course. Ugh, I'm literally a sucker for berets. Y'all already know that, like every K-pop stan is. So yeah. Okay, and then, oh my God, this is taking so much longer than <laughs> it needs to be because of just the fact that these are not organized at all. You know what, let me like put these out first to make life easier. There. Okay, and then last but not least, we have this final sets from an ode i know it's just kind of like not that satisfying having this an ode set just like by itself right here but again it's like a weird situation so i have to do it like that but yeah and then i think i have all his hangout cards as well yes i do okay great so i pretty much just finished everyone's hangout sets except for togium i'm still missing one card so yeah Again, Mingyu's Hengare cards are literally the cutest. Oh, oh my god. His selfies are just superior. Like, are you kidding me? He looks so good. Dun 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 dun, Hangat is complete. I also finished semicolon, cause again, semicolon was like pretty easy to finish. So thank God for that. So I have both of his right here. Another page finished, okay. And then we have his like special cards right here. Again, this is a Japanese card and this is the concert DVD thingy from, from OTU. So I'll just put these cards right here, I guess. Oh, damn it. I should put it right here. Yeah, to make it more shot just flying, I guess. Oh, I'll guess. I guess I'll put this here for now then. Ta-da. Oh, yeah, I have a bunch of like these cards too. So yeah, I bought like this random like card set for a Hangata card and then it came with all of these ones. So maybe I should just fill up this page. Oh wait, I do have more cards then. Oh, damn it, what am I gonna do then? Okay, since this is technically a Japanese album card, I'll take this one out for now. The rest should fit in here, right? Okay, they all fit. Great, so this will just be like special cards for now, I guess. So these will go out of the way. This one is the K-Town pre-order, and then we have h and V card take these out so i really put this thing in here for nothing great and then i guess i'll put this one up here as well and then the rest of these pockets will just be filled with these random cards i'm not gonna sleeve them because they're just like random concert cards so i'm just gonna stick them in there real quick but yeah i'm not really like a huge fan of collecting they're like concert trading cards yet like i'm not ready for that so <laughs> there are so many of them so yeah definitely not a priority uh damn it i want them all to face the same way so 
I guess we will give these a little flipperoony. Okay, and then we'll just make another page for his Japanese cards, if I ever start collecting them. So there's that, and then I don't think I have a page for his, uh, these ones, the circle cards, so I'll go ahead and take one out for that. Oh, ah! no! Oh my god, I'm so sorry, y'all. This video is taking way longer than I anticipated. Damn, time just flies by when you're having fun, I guess. Are you guys having fun, though? I mean, I am, I guess, since this is fun for me. But yeah. Anyways, I'll try to go a little faster. We still have Togyum and, like, the rest of my 17 stuff to go, so... <laughs> kind of need to pick up the pace here. Okay, and then I don't have any of his other bookmarks, so... Okay, never mind, I take that back. I forgot I had more inclusions! Oh my gosh, I have so much 17 stuff. Oh, I have the rest of his bookmarks. Okay, never mind, take that back. I was about to just stick the semicolon things here and call it a day, but... Nope, I completed his bookmark set, and I didn't even know. Okay, there's that. Oh my god, we have all this other stuff too. Okay, shit's getting kind of crazy right now. I just decided to not put these in the binder. I'm just gonna stick these behind here. Again, not the biggest deal, so yeah. <laughs> That's there for now. And then let's just put away the semicolon stuff and then we'll be good to go. This video is such a mess. Sorry guys, this video is kind of, this video is kind of going downhill because I'm getting kind of overwhelmed because there's a lot more stuff than I anticipated there would be. So I'm kind of trying to situate things off camera, but it's a little complicated. My desk is an absolute mess right now, so let's just ignore that. But anyways, now we will move on to Togyama finally. Oh my God, we've hit the 50 minute mark. But yes, here we have all of Togyama's cards. Ooh la la. So I do have a little more of his older cards, I believe. I haven't been able to find like Boys B and LNL repackage, but this is the only Going 17 card I was able to get. It's one of the unit ones. So let's put away that first. And then I don't have any of these ones, but I do have this um, Director's Cut one, the Sunset version. So Yay! I actually did end up trading for this, so there's that. And then, ooh, we have a complete set finally for You Make My Day. Oh, fuck, damn it. So we have this one. Again, this one's my favorite card from You Make My Day. Literally, so stinking cute. It's the way he's just holding up that, like, bandana. You Make My Day is complete. And then we also completed You Made My Dawn as well. Yep, You Made My Dawn is complete. And then we have a bunch of his and Oed cards. I think I'm missing like two more cards from the set, so I guess we'll find out right now.
Oh fuck, I did not put this card away properly. Oh wait, what? Oh damn it, I put these in the wrong place. I was like, wait a damn minute. Something's not right here. I forgot these cards. Um, these two. Oh, nope. Oh my god, I'm a mess. Maybe I should do this. This will definitely make things more organized. And then the only cards that I'm missing are these two cards of him in like the denim jacket, which are my favorite cards. So hopefully I'm able to get those soon. But yeah, now we move on to Hengare. So again, I pretty much do have all of his Hengare cards. I'm literally just missing one and it's like where he's um, wearing like this white shirt and he's like winking. So that's the only one I'm missing. But other than that, I have everything. Oh, oops, let me put this back then. This is not complete yet. And then last but not least, once again, I did end up finishing semicolon as well, so... Ta-da! We finally have this complete page. And then these are just, again, just random cards. So yeah, this is the one Japanese card I have of his. And then I'm just gonna put away these cards as well. Alright, there we go. And then we just have his other inclusions like this stuff. Oh my god, this binder is getting so thick. Oh my gosh, I thought a one and a half inch binder would be thick enough to like hold this entire collection, but I don't know if it can anymore. Holy crap. Do I seriously need to upgrade to a two inch binder already? I literally just got this binder. and oat stickers, and then we just have these semicolon goods to put away. And then also, so again, I'm just gonna stick these in the back pocket, these like little mini posters, and then I'll just quickly put these away as well. Okay, and that is the end of like the four members that I collect. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think it's a good idea to put all my other 17 stuff in here because again, I didn't anticipate this binder to be so thick. Oh my God, do you see this? I can barely even close it now, what the hell? Maybe I should take out some like inclusions to make it less thick. Hello, I'm back. Um, I stopped filming for a while because I wanted to put all like the you know, these ultra pro white sleeves in the gaps. As I predicted, I did run out like halfway through, so I definitely need to order more. Not completely complete, but this just gives you like a rough idea of what's gonna look like. I'm gonna do like a photo card collection video like at the end of the year. So at that time, it'll be completely finished. So yeah, don't mind me. I'm just a little underprepared. But yeah, honestly, if you guys see what's going on right here, I don't know how this binder got thicker than it was before, but 
it is way too thick now so i think i might need to upgrade to a two inch binder unfortunately because <sighs> look at all these stickers though that i had to use do you think i can save them probably not but yeah i feel like i might have to do that in the future but anyways i'm like done now i didn't end up putting like my other 17 stuff in here so yeah that's not gonna happen right now but i'm just gonna do a quick little flip through just to show you guys what the binder looks like right now so yeah And that is the end of this updated 17 binder, OMG. Finally, I'm so happy that I was able to put all of them away. So yeah, <laughs> I'm really sorry that this video was so long. I actually didn't anticipate it to be this long. So yeah, hopefully you guys, you know, enjoyed it. If you guys stuck till the end, thank you so much. You a real one, so. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below for more videos like this and yeah i'll see you guys all in my next video bye guys